went to another, another frog. Come look at my shivvy plate. Alright, let's go. <laughs> you see my face here? It's really cool. Show me. It's my number plate and then we put shivvy on it. Oh, shivvy on your car bed. Yeah. That is sick. You stoked? And then we have one in the toy box. Let's you going to show me that too? Let's yeah. just take a moment to appreciate the Hello Kitty car bed. <laughs> And the, and the boy car bed. And Boston has a car bed. He doesn't have a shibby sticker on his yet. Show me. That's oh, there we go. That's mine. Shibby. Shibby. Stoked. And these are, other ones, these are other ones we're getting done, but bigger. Like that big? Yeah. Like in a circle. What's the story behind the, the toy box? Um, there was a time in my life I where I was a little bit crafty and I decided to to repurpose a bunch Daddy. of stuff for the kids uh, and I had this toy box which was very ugly prior and I decided I wanted to do a sticker bomb toy box for Scarlett so we accumulated some stickers from all around the world a um, bunch of people donated and then just some were from a personal collection put a base coat down, cleared over it needs more that's more detailed than my explanation of half my car builds um but if anyone else has some more stickers they want to send through to us because there's definitely still um still space on there right yeah and i don't want to do another one you want to do another one yeah i want to do a bigger one yeah well if those little bastards need it they got too many toys all right scarlet we're gonna go fit this cube shifter <laughs> you ready shift yeah Shift, yeah. We have guidance. Larkin's mechanical. Yep. And Scarlet stoked on coming to the track because she gets to break open diamonds. And then there's little bracelets inside. All right, let's do it. Yeah! Let's go. Why aren't you excited? Because my nails are finally getting long again after the last time I worked on my car. <laughs> So I can't remember if I mentioned the other day, but my trailer brakes broke and uh, I just got it fixed. So I've got like a, basically, yeah, basically the brake on my trailer broke. So I've been using the trailer for a couple of days. Um, but yeah, getting that fixed up now, finally. Now somebody asked about my tire rack and I don't want to just address it quickly. So what it is, basically the poles slide down into here and then they have grub screws which hold it. So basically the four poles from the tire rack sit in there and then the grub screws are what hold it in place. Um, it's never moved or anything like that and that's how the remote rack's done. While well, the removable rack is done, makes everything super easy to deal with and like I said, take it on and off depending on the size of the vehicle you have on the back. Makes a really big difference for traveling interstate with a race car on the back because it sits super low. Like my tire rack sits lower than the roof line on the Raptor when it's being towed. So down here, a few of the boys. Um, Cheats just replaced the motor in his Falcon. We well, had it replaced and he's unfortunately opened up his old motor. Tell us about Cheech. And she's mint, it's just been rebuilt. <laughs> it literally looks like a fresh rebuild. Um, he did the head gasket on it. So I've convinced him to start looking into a, you know, because it's a fresh bottom end, looking into the old turboing of it and building himself a competition car. Cause um, he's gone pretty hard in a stock car. It's about time old Chi Chi um, just took his time. There's no rush, but put together a car with extra lock, a good proper handbrake, turbo engine see old chichi punishing some people once that happens i tell you what he does that goes hard enough with a stock car literally i've got another dream to head for <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna catch luke fink <laughs> the best thing about dreams guys is they're free nah, love it and i love his enthusiasm it's always good to be around um but anyway we're gonna get onto this cube shifter thing now where's wifey at Got to find her and get her cube shifter done. There's destructions. Destructions, yeah, better read that. We want professional advice for this. I want to make sure the gear shifts right. 
it all looks right, like super nice quality. Sticky. Are you excited to shift your hair? Sticky. Shift your hair. So first things first before even installing the parts, add the stickers, because that's an extra 10 horsepower, right? Yeah, Something it? like that anyway. How you going? I'm very confused with what Cowboy is trying to say to me right now. I just no. Like... What's going on here? You're looking for more places to put stickers. Yeah. Your shift chair one. Yeah. Probably just in front of where the shift is going to be. Yeah. Look, those bolts. So again. The screws just need to be a little further apart. Go higher. Yeah, I know, but then it hits on that. But then it uh, should when, clear it because no, of the clear. yeah without the board. But then I was thinking, would underneath be better? But then I just realised that it doesn't fit. And then I was waiting for Larkins to move so I could put it on. Waiting for Larkins to do more of your job. He didn't tell me what to do. <laughs> Put a sticker on. <laughs> That's my job. Shift yeah. Shift yeah? Shift yeah. No airbags, we don't like real men. I have airbags. You're a woman and you got airbags. And I'm not a man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This shifter is sick. It's gonna be weird using you it. Love it. It's nice and heavy too, you feel it. Should be able to do it without. It's gonna be so unusual. Short shifter with a ball. Yeah, but the weight, and if you feel the actual shifter, where's the actual, feel the weight of that as well? Mm. So the whole thing's like weighted, so it'll, it'll shift super nice. I'll have to let you know. Love it. Just a wolf spider. Hmm? Is it just a wolf spider? It's a money spider, isn't it? No, it's a wolf one. Oh, so when I was waiting um, for the tow truck to come the other night, I went to walk inside to you know, get some paperwork or something, and there was a spider next to the door, and I looked at it to see what type it was, because we've had redbacks out the front, and it had babies on its back, like you could see the little ones, so I hit it with the shoe. Didn't kill the babies, though. There's a lot of little babies on the floor. Probably going to have a lot of spiders at our house now. What are you doing now, Tay? The big bolt. The big bolt. <laughs> are your nails making it yet? They're all good still? One's dirty. Dirty. And you see how hard my life is working on cars And this every is day. why I say people that decide to be mechanics are stupid. I still make a decent living. Yeah. Sometimes. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this at you. <laughs> Should probably take my bracelet off. What's next? We gotta get it in the hole. <laughs> gotta get all of it in the hole. We're gonna do it wrong. It's actually pretty simple, huh? Yeah, but that doesn't fit. It's meant to be tight. Oh wait, that's as far down as it goes. Does yeah, it? no. It's meant to sit on that other bit. Yeah, it's not. It's still like a full centimetre. Push. Yeah, it's meant to be tight. No, no. Other no. way. That way? No. Yeah, that way. I can't get it in. Push it harder. I did. Oh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> you got it getting it in. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so that's got to kink back towards you. That way. Just imagine it's in the car. Yeah. The main thing is that that bit at the bottom. That's got to get in your gears. Flap it, Tom. You got it in, huh? He got it in again. <laughs> Done. All right. Now we got to bolt other stuff on. Mhm. Mm oh, I forgot to film. So what are we doing now? The top plate. Mm. Are well, you just putting these four screws in? Yeah, into the little uh, half circle things underneath. It's, it's neat, hey. Yeah. Even a chick can do it that has no mechanical knowledge. Yeah! <laughs> How tight are these going? As tight as you can get them. They're not going to break? You don't need to go crazy, Ty. It just needs to be taut. Taut? Do it like a toy like girl. <laughs> <laughs> Getting close. Testing. Testing soon. Jimmy! Alright, another bit. Done. You're cooking with gas, huh? That little, I didn't even notice that marking earlier. The cube one, yeah. The cube right there. Slide that with the arrow Ooh. paint. 
facing forward. Forward. That's back. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One moment. Uh, uh, it goes around there. Yep. Are you sure it goes Do you around even know it? How to fit a rubber? It doesn't go around it. It will go around it. It will. It's tight, huh? <laughs> this is why we have two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wise. Yeah. Well, it feels different, so I don't oh, know go, what's going to feel comfortable. Just go all the way down. Yeah. I'll adjust it later if it feels different. You always change hands. Alright, I'm uncomfortable that's not straight. <laughs> yeah, but that's where you can, yeah, adjust that to suit, obviously. So what size is... It looks sick in there, though. It looks cool. Yeah, move your seat forward to where you normally would. See so, how. Yeah. Oh, I have to get out to do that. Yeah, because. stop you from going into first you know what I mean that's like true. that's probably how it's designed track day. It's our track and the landlord's given us the okay to do a skid on a Wednesday which we are stoked about. So she doesn't have a lot of tyres but enough to have a go. Do you even have anything? Alright so wifey is going to try out the second to third gear shift. The place where she has the most sort of issues with her second to third shift is over here in front of the Black Arts shed and uh, I'm going to go over there. I told her just see how it feels actually drift and practice that third gear change because that's where she has her issues normally. I'm hoping the shifter sort of sorts out those issues for her and makes it a bit easier for her to drive and just overall feels good for her. Very positive so far. I felt it, man, it feels nice. I need, Cube, do you do one for a 350? Please, I want one. I normally don't like short shifters, but I've always used like shitty cheap short shifters. So yeah, this thing feels good though. Oh, we'll see how she goes. I'm sorry I didn't bring any GoPros to get an in-car because I'm an idiot. We'll see how she goes. She definitely didn't miss the change. I'll be interested to see how she feels about it. Oh, she's gone straight into it again. Just to make sure it wasn't a, a fluke. 
Yeah. Because I do sometimes get it into the right gear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give it another go. Alright. Yeah, she definitely doesn't have a lot of tyres left, but I still want to give it give it a red hot go. I'll try and film it from this side this time to see if we can actually see her going for the gear change. Hopefully. I know she goes for the gear change pretty much right here. Dude, perfect gear change again, no crunching. Which I'm stoked about. I don't know if you guys remember the last time she went drifting. She was um talking about the issues she was having changing gears. <laughs> so she is on wire, like I said, so she'll be like annoyed about that, but she's on wire, so that's fine. I'm really stoked about that, that's rad. So stoked that that works well. Feels better? Even, even the downshift from 30 to second down there. Huh? Even the downshift from 30 to second down there. Oh, whoops. I like zoomed. I was still zoomed in, like right on your mouth. So who say that again? Um, even the downshift from second uh, from third to second uh, feels way better down there. And I feel the shift... like you could almost go third here, hey. Where? Oh, just like, coming out here? of the bank. Like you could almost go third again, but then you'd have to go second, yeah. then third. And it's just some unnecessary gear changes. Like I don't need third coming through here, really. Do you want to do some donuts with Scarlett? Sure. Yeah. I'd like to do a burnout, really, but... Well... Give try it a good, try as a pass. We'll give it a good cool down and bring Scarlett over. She did too. Was that a good one? <laughs> oh, it caught on fire! <laughs> you rubber caught on fire? Yeah! It's on fire! So, we're hoping you've just killed a... Hoping that you've just killed a coil back. Yeah, well, it's a standard thing in this car. You ever heard of pedaling it? Like, keeping it off limiter a little bit? No, I like limiter. <laughs> <laughs> and when this, when there's all us sitting there doing this. <laughs> She's going to be on limiter. Like, have you ever heard of having a night off drifting? No, because you like drifting. So you drift. <laughs> Duh. So well, we're just going to pull the plug to... Pull plug. Make sure it's not covered in oil. <laughs> Yeah, because it does seem to be blowing a little bit of smoke, so... But it, it, it generally always does that when it's hot, though. Yeah, and she but, did get it. Yeah, the water temp might have come down, but I reckon the oil temp would still be through the roof. Water, 
Uh, oh no, they're all good. Tempo they good? went up. Yeah, Sweet. that looks good to me. 96. It's not cracked the plug or anything. No. I know that happened on the other one. We had a, bro we had a broken pl uh, plug. That oh, looks good. Nice and clean. They're the expensive ones. They're brand new plugs. I just put them in. When did you put them in? Um, a week ago. Because I'd not no. put them in. That from was um, my, you know, we went and got new ones. No, I, that was my two tone that we just put the platinum in. Oh, yeah. Oh, we just yeah. spent like yeah. hundred and thirty dollars on spark plugs for the CA. These oh, ones, I hope I we have, get that car back. Just put the platinums in it. I did these not long ago when Adam was here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So because November. that was when I replaced all the plugs, changed the coil or two. Oh yeah, that's right. We got this loom and all that sort of jazz. Yeah, and I fixed the um. We might just PCV. need to do PCV, yeah. everything at the same time instead of just staggering. No, we did we did do it all at the same time. We can't do every car at the same time. I don't think we did do it all um, at the same time. So cube shifter? Hmm. I love it. It's yeah. unreal. Just Stoked. Yeah, more so I don't I'm not cuz so my problem was it wasn't so much that I was missing that gear coming around black arts. It was that I was so scared that if I missed the gear and it fucked me up, it might throw me up into throw me into the wall. So I was just scared of that. But it's just so just nice, smooth eh? and quick, and there's just no hesitation. The first couple of times, it kind of like spat me forward. I guess I'm not just used to well, that grip straight up. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, normally, your shifts, you got, you're like run. So it like loses that. Yeah. Bit so you lose it, that bit of yeah. momentum. Where now you're like run. Yeah. So it's like yeah good i guess it would be like going in a straight line just like that second to third and shooting it off yeah but no it's unreal i can't wait to drive more and probably and then let's see you follow me now <laughs> oh. <laughs> official call out Luke. <laughs> so that dint right there was caused by tiana having a misshift so yeah. hopefully that doesn't happen anymore and i won't have any reason to hit her and then jump over her and well, everything like happened last time. No way, look, my car's cleaner than yours. We gotta clean my car. Just fixed it all. Again. Again. <laughs> Good. My car doesn't have damage like this. This is rubbish. <laughs> Rewind three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I kind of want these 18s on that. I don't know. I don't like him. I liked the wheels that were on it before. You put these on because you thought they were sick. Take him. I don't want them. Yes. Give me, give me steelies all around or meshy. Oh yeah, we're back on six. Woo. Didn't kill it. Duh. <laughs> all right, back on six cylinders. So dead coil pack. Let's make sure that one goes straight in the bin. Wait, it's an RV. They blow up. That's a thing. If you're an American, they can't make RVs work, so I would say definitely. But so, can you see where it's dead? Is there anything to to tell? Not really. Because the other one had a big bubble in here. Number two had a big bubble in it, and that's how I knew it was a dead coil pack. But that one doesn't have anything visual, it must just be dead. I think Tiana just cooked it, basically, when she was doing the burnout. But they work out how to make an RV stay alive. They can't work out how to do a good burnout either. Something that they, they need to practice. You just did a very American burnout. No, you did a standstill, but that's only because I wanted to get photos and stuff. And you, yeah, and I wanted to do it in this big area and you wouldn't let me. That's well, just because I wanted to film it and get good footage of you just on the spot and thanking everybody for 20,000 subscribers. And I'll thank you while I'm here. Thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers, guys. Can you, can it's been you, a sick ride. Can you share and get people to like so I can do a 25,000k burnout? <laughs> Please? Well, you just did the 20,000. Yeah. I still want to do a 20,000 in my car. I'm still, I'm, I'm going to basically try and do the whole Adam LZ's burnout competition and our 20,000 burnout all at the same time. In the Z, I'm trying to work it out, guys. I've been offered a few really cool driveways. So we'll see where we end up, but that'll happen very, very soon. But S13 is ready to rip. New cube shifter in. Can't be more stoked. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Where I'm going to be doing some drifting around here in the 350Z, hopefully. We've got to take it for alignment and do a bunch of other stuff earlier in the day, but it's going to be a rad day. Thanks, guys.